Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today it is time for part 38 of Season 3 and part 155 of the series as a whole. And today we have a fantastic chance of getting through to our first ranking event final since the Gibraltar Open last year. This is the second and final part of the Scottish Open semi-final. We've played the first four frames against Mark Allen in the last episode and we won all four. So we need two of the remaining seven frames and we are through to the Scottish Open final. Of course, this event is more important than any other really at this stage because we won this event two years ago. The snooker rankings work on a two-year system. So if we don't win this event, we will lose at least £50,000 at this stage. If we get to the final lose, we'll lose forty grand. But of course, if we got get that seventy grand, we will stay put exactly where we are in the rankings. So it's very much a damage limitation tool. I know a lot of you have heard that a lot. Uh, throughout these videos of the Scottish Open and are sick of me going on about it. But um, there are people that are just tuning in for the first time. So hello to all you viewers new and old. And hopefully you guys are enjoying some action where we get a little bit further on in the tournaments. But hopefully we can continue where we left off in that last episode where um, we were 4 nil up. Admittedly, Mark Allen should have really won that four frame. But didn't take advantage where he should have done and we just uh, cleared up from there. Not a bad break off, unfortunately we hit the reds a little bit thicker than planned or else that would have been probably a snooker in some of the break offs we've played. That's a solid shot from Mark Allen. Uh, we've had the mid-session interval so I've had a chance to have a break. Um, so it just makes things a little bit more realistic so of course you don't play all the snooker all at one time um, in a best of 11 or in any match that's longer uh, that's longer than a best of 7. Well played, good safety there. He'll be trying to get the cue ball Obviously it doesn't make a difference to Mark Allen, he's just an AI player, but for us, um, it will make a difference then we've had a break, but I'll tell you what, he's got away with uh, not going in off there. And he's very much got away with this. I think we've got to try and take this pot on. It's a tough cut well, from there. The we've hit it exactly at the right speed, and it's there. Great shot, we played that of course with an element of safety. Um, but we could probably just play the... Hmm, depends where it stops, I suppose. Play the yellow or the green here. I think the yellow looks okay. And then play for the red to the corner pocket. But these are always a little bit tricky. Oh, it's it's uh, missed. But luckily, uh, we've got away with that to some extent because we can in the yellow and it's put us back up to the bulk cushion. And to be fair, we knew if we missed that that we'd only be leaving that red on. Contact with the blue. Five point penalty. Well, foul on the miss. Neil Robertson. That is a shocker. Decision time here. That is an absolute shocker from Mark Allen. Went for the red, and uh, hit the blue on the way through. Just a complete lapse in concentration. We forced him to continue because it actually put us in quite a difficult position there. Now is the plant on? It's got to be. I'm just worried about the red potentially hitting the side cushion but Mark Allen I've never seen that I don't think ever before from an AI player is the plant on mm. see I just worry if we hit it exactly straight it's going to go into the side cushion but I think at 4 nil up it's worth taking on we're going to hit it a little bit just slightly to the left uh, in the hope that we can get through I'm going to check this uh, red pass I don't think it actually does uh, oh this is tight Oh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't. But I'll tell you what, we've got away with that. For, we certainly with that red, but we have left a well, chance to the middle pocket. Quite as he intended it to. We went for it. I think that's a luxury we can afford at 4 nil up just that's to take a few shot. risky well, shots on. But what a cagey start to this fifth One. frame. Six. Still can't get over Mark Allen. Hit that blue. I mean, sure, it was close, but obviously he misjudged it completely. Wouldn't be a shot I'd like to take on in the black. Personally, I'd always take on the blue and go for the back spin. But oh, no, he is going to go for the blue, and he's potted it exactly like I would. So maybe taking some inspiration from the man who's fallen a lot, but he's a little bit close to the black than you think he probably would have wanted here. So that, well, unless he goes for the red to the top corner pocket, which you wouldn't think he'd do at fallen up. 
No, he doesn't. That is end of break. Mark Allen, 20. Good stuff. From the pistol. That's not bad, but uh, it does leave a chance in a long pot. This is a massive swing frame. I always think it is um, after the mid-session interval, whether it's 2 each, 3-1 or 4 nil, Whatever the score is, it's always a massive frame. But none more so in this semi-final with Mark Allen being 4 nil down. Of course, if we win this frame, then you have to say Mark Allen's pretty much out of it, but... Mark Allen wins the frame, it's effectively 3 0. And obviously, it's not all over then. And the way he's going, I think he has got a chance to register a frame here. He's going for the blue, well, this is confidence. And it's confidence that's paid off. What a brilliant positional shot. I think his problem is with this one up bolt that it actually doesn't doesn't pass the yellow. Well, actually, it does. Fabulous. Absolutely. Never mind me. I thought it didn't pass the yellow. That's why I thought he was reluctant to take it on, but it does. Smart to get that one out of the way and putting the yellow back on its spot. That's also a smart move. Seventeen. Half a chance here. He's going for this red to the middle because I don't think the other one actually went to the. Corner pocket. He full of confidence at the moment. And he's on the wrong side of the blue. 18. 23. Mm, unless he can get a tight shot here, that's going to be end of break. And it is. So we get another opportunity. He's not quite got uh, any sort of fluidity to his game really at the moment. You have to say... And there wasn't really much risk of leaving too much on that. He'll be pleased with that. Just leaves him a bit of a predicament because that blue does cover the two that are a potential chance. But he's done well to spot that one red there, I'll tell you that. He's come off the cushion. And that is another good shot. Excellent safety shot. He'll want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. Want to get close to the yellow here, really. Not too close there. Where is that cue ball going? And where's the red ended up? That is quite unbelievable. It's ended up right over the corner pocket. If we'd, that, if we'd have hit that harder, we'd have probably potted that. That's a sitter, though, for Mark Allen. And uh, he gets another chance here. Has to be said, our play's been a little bit sloppy. Giving him a few opportunities. You know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Six. Seven. Not cut and dry yet, though. He split them, but it's not really worked. So another safety. And that time it has not paid off. Left certainly a half chance. We're going to do everything we can to try and steal this from Mark Allen. Well, it goes. Half a chance. 51 behind. 67 remaining on the table. That little touch on the reds isn't going to hurt. One. We do need a good split though here. Hmm, I'm not sure. Eight. Not sure about that. Red doesn't go, so might as well just go for a bit of a fluke shot here. To be honest, yes, he's taking the pot on. Oh, we've overdone it. And he's missed it. So I think Mark Allen will win the frame from here. Just a little bit unfortunate with the split. Aiming for the centre pocket here. One. I don't think he's going to turn his nose, but this chance now.
eight. So 51 left on the table, he's 51 ahead. So we can only force a respot from here. Just needs the one red. And he's got a frame on the board. Could that give Mark Allen a surge in confidence? Who knows? The colour will definitely finish it off. 52 ahead, 43 left, but another 7 left, say, on the black. And it's definitely all over. Yep, yeah, it's there. So, providing he doesn't have a catastrophic failure now, that should be it. Another red on the table. We'll concede whenever we get the chance. He might want to clear up here. Just to get some practice in. He's not had much table time in these five frames. The only worry for me, the, the only slight worry, because there isn't really any worry of him getting a frame here, is that in that four frame he should have really won. So we could be at a possibility of 3-2 now. I know we're not. We just need to be aware that perhaps our standard has, has slipped a little in the last few frames. He was never going to pot that green, was he? We'll concede the frame, though. Mark Allen does get one on the board. That's the frame in the bag. But we're still on course at the moment. But a big swing frame puts Mark Allen back in it, certainly. As I said, at 5 nil, it's pretty much over. But uh, I think with that break off, he's just about undone all of his hard work. What a strange shot. Not only left us one chance, but there's one, two, three, maybe even four chances just from the break off. So you have to say that was pretty poor. Just got to keep our composure and get in here. Again, we didn't really do much in the last frame, so I guess we need a bit of practice as well. And if we can go on and win this frame, then of course it's just uh, one to go after that. Never easy though, those uh, final frames. I'll tell you what, these reds aren't in a great place to actually get position for, are they? Particularly playing the blue. Good shot on the yellow, nice and precise. Seven. We'll go for the straight red if we can get to it, but we can't, so... Change our strategy a little. This is the one I was always going to go for, but again, that other red didn't look too bad. The left corner pocket. Need this to pay off. What a top shot that is. Which oh, it just about has. Got away with that a little there, because we did uh, under hit it slightly. Does this black still go to that corner pocket? Yes, it does. Obviously, if my cue's not in the way. Sixteen. Always worth checking, rather than looking like a pillock once the event's happened. Twenty-three. So after this black, one more red in the open, 24. and we've got to look at potentially opening the pack up. And to be quite honest, even now, we could struggle to get on this red. We're going to have to play it to the uh, corner pocket. That should be made tougher by the fact I've overplayed it. But, miss this, and this is the only shot we leave on, so I'm okay with that. Tricky shot, though. Great pot. We've been a little bit off with our, court, with our uh, 
pots there. But uh, on this occasion, we've done pretty well. Pink goes, so great opportunity to play a little bit of a different split. Not what it... Oh! He's strange. He's strange, Neil Folds. Really is strange. Need this to go right, though. You can get very cocky with the middle pocket. But it's there. Control. That certainly was a good split. Opens the table up nicely now. Use the Halborn method from his videos of seeing how much parrot needs to get on the cushion, then working out how it comes off. That's fine. Wonderful shot. Do very much recommend those tutorial videos for any Snooker 19 player. Certainly opened my eyes to a few new techniques. And that's uh, Halborn13. I think he's done five tutorial videos. I know I've watched a few of them. I haven't watched all of them, but uh, the two I've watched on getting a good split and a break-off uh, are two very good videos. Very, very interesting. Because my, my, uh, me learning Snooker 19 has just been from intuition, really. Just uh, seeing what works, what doesn't, and then just going for what works. But clearly all the time it doesn't work, and it's good to have your eyes open to something different. This has been a good break so far in uh, frame number six. And not far to go, and we should have a nice lead of 5-1. Which really puts the pressure on Mark Allen then. Means he has to win every single frame or he's uh, out at the semi final. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. What a top pot that was. So five reds left on the table. 67 left on the table. The black will mean that we are 60, uh, 68 ahead. So just this black needed. And barring snookers, we are one frame away. Well, we said we needed to improve our one visit snooker because it had been a bit poor in the last uh, last few visits, if you like. Uh, but clearly, we're just about okay. Seventy-six. Potentially get a century here. We speak quietly. Go for the red to the middle here. If you wonder what I was doing, I'm thinking, what on earth is he doing there? to drop into the centre pocket. So another that red there. colour, red and another colour. And that is a century there. Ninety-two. So just red and black needed. It's been a good break so far. I'm a well positioned for the black. Just a case whether we want to get onto the red next. So I think we will. We'll play the blue and uh, come back towards the black cushion. Long pot's on. Andy's going for it. Blue's there. Need this to run though. Need this to run. Mm, it's a decent chance. It's uh, not great though. And we could miss out on a ton. Just wants to get on that red. But it's not the end of the world if we don't get this. I don't think we are, unfortunately. No, doesn't quite drop. So we miss out on a century by trying to go for the full clearance. But nevertheless, the most important thing here is that we've won the frame. We've stopped the rot in some ways. If Mark Allen would have brought it back to 4-2, we might have started to worry. But we are now one frame away from our second Scottish Open final appearance. Of course, we beat Mark Allen by six frames to one in the UK's. 
to get to the quarters. But of course, much higher stakes here to get to the final. But again, it has to be said, he's played a little bit of a poor safety. Been some strange shots from Mark all day. I really wonder how he's world number three sometimes. It's very peculiar. He's either very good, he's very on it, or he's just, well, I think abysmal is the word. There doesn't really seem to be any middle ground with Mark Allen. Now he's won so many tournaments yet. Us who are struggling in most tournaments to really deliver the goods uh, have beaten him a few times now in the last few. That was a bit of a shocker, to be honest. Seven. Didn't think about that so much. It's a tougher blue than it looks, to be honest. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. It's a good shot, though. What's the position like? It's fine. Good recovery shot there, because that wasn't the best shot in the world from us, I will be honest. So just go one ball at a time. Get a decent break, even if it's not a break that wins us the frame. I think in any match, particularly the long matches, I think the last frame is the hardest to win. Very nicely done. 18. But we're doing okay at the moment, just picking off the loose reds. Go for the pink here, but that would compromise position on our next red. Apart from that, though, it was pretty straight on that pink. Twenty-four. Let's get this red dispatched. The idea to avoid the cannon on this pink and actually set ourselves up for a pot on it. It's tough, and we didn't avoid the cannon. It's finished a bit awkward here. Yeah, I'll accept that argument. Wasn't our best shot. So a bit of a hit and hope. Stage one's good. This needs to come off the cushion as it does. And lines itself up for a decent pot. That's a good shot in the end. Good recovery. I think it's important, the massively important those recovery shots because you're not always going to get yourself in a perfect position. No, no play is perfect, but if you can get yourself out of trouble fairly easily, then it just means you can play with a little bit more risk. more awkward than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to have to be blue. I was going to play pink. Obviously want to target one of these reds well, close to the back cu black cushion. It's far too early on to risk trying to split those five reds. That's quite alright. Back close to a straight shot on the pink. Hmm. He's aiming for the left corner here. Tricky position here. Great queuing. Forty nine. Not as bad as I thought it would be though, actually. He's playing for the right corner here. Well that's the last of those three reds. Really important. 
impressive queuing. So I think we might struggle to get a positional here. Just gotta hope we get a decent cannon, but drop this into the middle pocket. That's actually a much better cannon than I thought we'd get, but do we leave a pot on anywhere? It's not the best split. It's not, no. 56. But being 5 1 up, we might as well take a little bit of a gamble at this this uh, at this red. This tight one. I think we've actually overdone it a little. No. Ooh, unlucky. Pretty close though. It's worth going for though. We only need one, one more red and a colour, and that might have been it. He's looking at the pop into the left centre. So Mark Allen has got a chance. We were nearly there. I said that that those last five reds would have been tricky. Just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. But it's last chance saloon for him here. He knows that we're nearly there. Could be something we come to regret potentially if. This match goes on a lot, lot longer. But really, there wasn't much of a better chance, so I'm not too bothered. I don't know where Mark Allen got to two years ago, um, but... If he does lose this match, he'll probably go up slightly in terms of his prize money. He's aiming for the left corner I here. think it was Mark Williams who beat in the semi-final in 20, whenever it was, two years ago. Well, he's taking it on. This is a tricky pink, goodness me, but he's got it. Oh, that's right out of the top draw. And he's very lucky that red's there to the middle. wonder who left that one there. I guess it could have been Mark Allen in that other final. I'd probably guess it would be Judd Trump in that other semi-final last year. As I think it will be this year. I'd be very surprised if it's not Selby and Trump. But he's actually not going for that one to the middle. He's just playing safe. And I'll tell you something. I have absolutely no idea why. I think he's just gifted us this frame. That is a very peculiar shot because... That's not the best shot, I mean, that's... One. Well, yeah. A, a, a straight red. Can't must miss uh, muck that one up to the middle, can you? Shove Just this black out of the way. The left oh well, done. we've uh, overhit that ball. slightly. So this position on the red is not easy, but this red, this red required for the final. Oh, we've missed it, but it is at respot stage, so he's got to get everything on the table and look at where the cue balls ended up. Not quite behind oh. the yellow. Is there another twist in the seventh frame? We just overhit that slightly. We were planning for the cannon on the black originally. And he's got the red. So to stay in this semi-final, Mark Allen leads all of the balls and then needs a respot. And I think that's probably his best chance rather than going for a snooker, to be honest. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner. And he looks good. 13. Very rare we get a respot. Seventeen. Twenty-two. So pink, and then as I said, black will bring us level, which in this frame where we could well get through to the Scottish Open, it quite literally comes down to the black. So it's Mark Allen to go first here. He's gone quite aggressive from the out from the uh, oh from the start. That's an excellent safety. Oh, that's quite unbelievable, isn't it? Don't like these respots at all. But I think that's okay. He could go for it. It's certainly a chance. But there was no way I was going, was going to be tempted by the pot there. Is he going to go for the pot? He's going to go for the pot to that pocket. And he's missed it. Well, Mark Allen's missed it. And this is the shot. It's not in the best fashion. But you would have to say, well, surely, this is the play. shot that gets us through to the Scottish Open final. Just roll this black in. It's there. 
And the cue ball's pulled up, and we are through. Get in there. Come on. Excellent stuff. Absolutely excellent stuff. Another win against Mark Allen as six frames to one. We are dominating him at the moment. We struggled in a few tournaments against him. Amazingly, there was no century in that match. That highest break was in that fifth frame of 98. And let's find out who we will meet in the final. We met Mark Selby in the first season. Is it going to be Selby again? Is it going to be Judd Trump? Or is it going to be a surprise player? It's Judd Trump. Well, it was Mark Selby in season one. We have faced Judd Trump in a final before. And, of course, we have beaten him in that Shanghai Masters final. We lost to him in the uh, International Championships final. But we've got there for the first time since Gibraltar. We have got to the final. A little bit gutted, personally, that it's not a match against uh, one of the players who is a little bit lower down. But remember, we have beaten John Higgins, Mark Williams and Mark Allen on our way here. So it was really either going to be one of Selby, Trump or perhaps Ronnie O'Sullivan. But clearly the rest are all out. It's down to the last two. It's myself and, Mark, uh, and Judd Trump for the Scottish Open Trophy. So Mark Selby will lose a little bit of money in the in the um, rankings, albeit only a small amount because you would guess he got to the semi-final. He got to the final in season one. But the next three episodes should be very... Very exciting. Us against the world number one. We demolished him in the Shanghai Masters final. So let's see how this one goes. So we'll do the first four frames in the next episode. Um, and then the next six. That'll take us up to ten. And then in the third and final episode we'll do whatever is remaining. But if you've enjoyed that and are excited for our first ranking final for a long time. Make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well. And subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and on a Sunday. But thank you out to your company folks. I appreciate it. Make sure you continue to take care and stay safe during these times. And I will see you all later. Goodbye for now.